welcome back to our class. In our last class, we are considering about the critical damping resistance and already we have arrived at the equation d square q by dt square plus r by l d q by dt plus q by lc equal to 0. Let us rewrite this equation and solve by inserting two terms. That means, let us multiply to here and divide to here, so that it will not hamper the value of the equation. So, now equation 8 can be rewritten as d square q by d t square plus 2 r by 2 l d q by d t plus q by l c equal to 0 implies let us put this r by 2 l as beta and 1 by l c as omega 0. So, this equation becomes d square q by d t square plus 2 beta d q by d t plus omega 0 square q equal to 0. This is equation number 9, where beta is equal to r by 2 l equal to damping constant and omega 0 equal to root over of 1 by L c which is equal to the angular frequency of oscillation. Now, this equation 9, this equation 9 represents a second order differential equation this equation represents a second order differential equation whose solution can be written as q is equal to q 0 into e to the power r by 2 l into t into cos omega t plus phi or we can write this term as beta also. This r by 2 l can be written as beta also or implies this q is equal to q 0 e to the power beta t into cos omega t plus phi where omega equal to how much root over of omega 0 square minus beta square and this is the angular frequency angular frequency of the damped oscillation and this equation this equation represents 
an exponentially decreasing amplitude. This equation 12 represents an exponentially decreasing oscillation and can be graphically shown as Special cases. So, let us discuss the three probable special cases and from which we can find the CDR, the value of CDR. Now, for case 1, for damped oscillation, damped oscillation, we have shown that omega equal to root over of omega 0 square minus beta square. We have shown this and but omega 0 equal to 1 by root over of LC. So, this can be written as root over of 1 by LC minus beta square is R by 2L for square because beta is R by 2L. Okay. Then for second case for undamped oscillation for undamped oscillation, the damping factor is 0, the damping factor that is beta is 0. So, omega becomes root over of omega 0 square minus beta square which is equal to root over of omega 0 square minus 0 square which implies omega equal to omega 0. And what is about the critical damping oscillation? Now, in the third case, for critically damped oscillation now for critically damped oscillation this omega equal to 0 because it stops oscillating so angular frequency omega becomes 0 that is omega equal to 0 which implies we know omega is equal to root over of that is root over of omega 0 square minus beta square is equal to 0 implies omega 0 square minus beta square is equal to 0 implies omega 0 square is equal to beta square implies omega 0 is how much 1 by lc omega 0 square equal to beta square is equal to how much r by 2l square r square by 2l implies r square is equal to it is 4l square 
by L C and this implies R is equal to root over of 4 L square by L C which implies R critical or C D R equal to 2 L to root over of L by C. This is the expression for the critical damping resistance that is C D R which indicates that a suitable combination of L and C will give the value of C D R. This indicates that that the value of C D R depends on the value of inductance that is L and the value of capacitance C and with the help of a suitable combination of L and C we can find the value of the CDR that is critically damped resistance. Now, we are discussing about the CDR that is the critical damping resistance and already we have derived the expression for the critical damping resistance in case of a series LCR circuit and with this we finish the theory of ballistic galvanometer. So, let us discuss some of the problems related to ballistic galvanometer and one of the problems gives the question like this. The first and eleventh throw problem, the question says that the first and eleventh throw of a ballistic galvanometer are the first and eleventh throw of a ballistic galvanometer are fifteen unit and ten unit respectively. determine the value of determine the value of logarithmic decrement solution what are given the first and eleventh throw of a ballistic galvanometer are 15 unit and 10 unit. So, what is given theta 1 is equal to 15 unit and theta 11 equal to 10 unit. And what is asked? We have to find the logarithmic decrement and asked lambda is equal to how much where lambda is the logarithmic decrement. Now, logarithmic decrement is lambda is equal to 1 by 10 log theta 1 by theta 11. This is the formula and here it is 
log base e. So, when log base e is converted to log base 10, we have to multiply 2.3026. So, it is 1 by 10 into 2.3026 into log base 10 theta 1, theta 1 is 15 by 10 okay? and that is equal to 2.3026 by 10 log base 10 1.5, 15 by 10 is 1.5 and its value is, it is divided by 10 is 0 0.23006 into the value of log 1.5 is 0 0.176. 176. So, the logarithmic decrement is 0 0.0405, 0 0.0405 this is the answer. Okay? Hereby, you can also determine the logarithmic decrement for a different problems and I hope you must have a better understanding regarding the CDR and here I finish many many thanks.